last time on Metal Gear, I mean, last time on Essence of Zen, F I, I mean, uh, last time on Essence of Zen After Dark. It's in your uh, it's in your court. You are yeah. the users. You you decide just by using or don't. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Now we got um. You guys are the data. But what's that? What's that one? One saying if you're not paying for the for the product, you're you the product. Are, yes. Right. <laughs> it's essentially, a lot of these platforms. Yeah. suffering and unhappiness, and it's all over much too quickly. The question is, have I learned anything about life? Matter of fact, speaking of being the product, Google! Uh, Google. I, I'll, I'll be real with you, I, I didn't catch the Google I.O. event. I, I only remember like one or two things from it. Mm. <laughs> Google, yo, I guess. There you go. I I, I remember Google. the tablet. Slash. There you go. <laughs> oh yeah, it is slash. I, <laughs> I was just trying to be funny. Google yo yo. G -g 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 actually, um, there's actually a historical Indian guy. Uh, Cause um, do you know who Cal Pen is? Us? No, no. <laughs> <laughs> Careful, Lou, what you're going to do Henry. I should have asked which Indian. <laughs> actual, <laughs> actually, Indian from India. Um, but do, do you know who Cal Penn is? He's an actor. No, no. Uh, uh, um, uh, you ever seen Hilden Kumar? Yes. Kumar. Kumar. The actor for Kumar is... Uh, uh, okay. Uh, I, I'm, I'm pretty sure Cal Penn is his name. If not, apologies for, for getting the, the name wrong. Which like legit Indian. Okay. Yeah. Um... Which is funny. I don't. I don't know if a lot of people actually know this or not, but because he was also in the house for one of the later seasons, um, and we are just oddly interconnected, like dark news or dark topics. Uh, his character ends up taking his own life in that show as well, and the reason for it is he had to be written out of the show quickly because he went to go work in the White House for Barack Obama during that time. Um, oh right, right, yeah. okay. But aside from that, he he's in a movie. I forget what it's called. It's actually a really good emotional drama movie. Um, but it, 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 this, 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 I've probably talked about this on the podcast before, actually. Or I, cause I talk about it a lot with people because again, it's it's a very emotional and it makes you think and and you know kind of linger on the thought of your own life and the ripples effects and, and relationships. But it, essentially, it's about. Uh, uh, Indian American who's first generation Indian American um, and his struggles trying to you know have the I'm American so I'm American culture but I also have the ties to the Indian culture and trying to have respect for it without you know if it's not I, I didn't grow up in India so therefore I don't have that attachment and it's like the back and forth stuff. It's, it's, it's really good anyway his father names him Google G-O-G-L-E or G-O-G-L-I I forget what it, what it is Okay. And it's, it's after an Indian philosopher named Google. Uh, okay. Yeah. And Cal Penn's <laughs> character, he hates his name because he's like, oh, everyone's called me Google. He makes fun of it. So he goes by like an, an, an American name, which is not uncommon for uh, first generation uh, uh, foreign American, you know, uh, kids. I got a friend, uh, Ischiak, who we, I think we had him on the podcast before for a movie discussion uh, in season two. Um, but his, you know, his his easy name is, is Neil, because people can't all, okay. always say Ishtiak, but we also yeah. call him Ish or Ishti. Um, Ish. Okay. Yeah. Uh, but he has this, this this issue, or you know, goes through all these things, and like his his father is. And I, I, I'm, I'm I, look, the movie's been out for like decades, all right. So or a decade. <laughs> so it's, uh, I'm not no, no care about spoilers. His father ends up passing away, and he has a hard time trying to reconcile with never being able to show his uh, uh, reverence for the culture while his father was alive, and everything that his father did for him. And it's like it, that's like there's some weird, like, 
so cause the dad dies of cancer, which again, it's a personal connection with me. It, that's why it's, it's so emotional, powerful. And like the dad does cool, or uh, I say cool, but it's 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 heavy, man. He he moves out of the house, not because like no bad relationship or anything. And he didn't tell anybody he was sick. So everyone was like, what, what are you doing? Are, are, are you mad at us? Yada, yada, yada. When he finally passes away, they realize he was trying to prepare them to be able to live a life without him. And mm. it's, 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 it's so good, man. Like the drama and like the, the, the character aspect is it's, granted, like in real life, I would not do that. I would want to spend as much time with my family as possible. But I understand the, the narrative aspect of it. The story, uh, yes. story behind it. Oh, so, so good. Where was I going with this point before talking about? <laughs> yeah. Oh, Google, Google, Google. Yeah, Google. Google. <laughs> Not being impressed with the, the Google lineup, I think, was your last bit. <laughs> yeah. So, I don't remember a lot. The only thing I do remember from Google I.O. is um, the tablet. They talked about BART and I think uh, updates to the Google Watch OS, maybe? <clears throat> I, I I don't know. Um, and then after the Google event, they announced the Google Chromebook X project, which made me think, why wasn't that in the Google I.O. event? Because you announced it literally like two weeks after. I don't. So I took a look at the tablet and didn't Amazon try something like this and then it didn't work out. They tried to do like an Echo slash tablet like a few years back and then it didn't hit and then they just did the Echo show. I, th- I think Amazon tried something like this if I remember correctly. It's it's possible, but also like Amazon has never made good tablets. They've always made cheap, low budget, low yeah, uh, see, that, that lagged and it's uh Yeah, yeah I, I agree. It's hardware is just not there, software I'd say it's even less there. <laughs> <laughs> but I... Go on. Oh, man. I, I don't know. I do, I do like the tablet idea, though. I, like, generally, having a tablet that you can just sit on a magnetic stand that then connects to a speaker and then becomes, like, a home hub. Great idea. Now, I will not be partaking in this because I don't like the idea of a Google Hub, you know, thing because just like Amazon, they all listen to every single thing that you do um but no like but generally as an idea as an engineer or as you know design practices it's really cool and i think this is going to hit home uh, or hit a lot of people's um uh, you know check marks and check boxes it's affordable it's usable um and supposedly this is google trying to say that they're going to put more uh, emphasis behind trying to actually make a tablet um you know the, the tablet ecosystem good that's will remain to be seen because I mean they just dump Google domains, so I mean you know. <laughs> well, I don't think we've really seen anything new tablet-wise since the Nexus line, really, long, long ago. I think Apple's basically essentially dominated that area. I don't. Yeah, it's I just been... don't see too much coming out besides the Samsung tab. Yes, because I, I was gonna say like Samsung's actually been the one who's been leading the development for yeah. uh, Android OS on tablets. And I, I, I think this Google tablet hub pixel thing is going to be them trying to re- redefine Android on tablets, actually make, you know, because, uh, yeah, yeah, no, actually, yeah, because uh, Linus talked about this. Linus has been complaining to the YouTube reps for, I think, five, four, four or five years uh, that uh, uh, YouTube for tablet, like the, the, the YouTube APK for tablets is like, three generations behind, if not more, of the actual phone APK for YouTube. Mm. And he's like, that, that shouldn't be the case. Just have one APK that checks the diameter of your screen and adjusts and operates differently based on that. They're not gonna do that, right. but, you know. But, but that's why, I don't know if you, if you ever heard him complain about not being able to do stories or uh, shorts. Oh, on the, that far behind. On the, on wow. the, on, on the fold, on, you know, on the uh, Samsung Galaxy Fold. Oh, because it's reverting to the tablet. Wow. Oh. Yes, the, the the Play Store sees um, the uh, the Samsung Foes as a tablet device, not a phone device. So it uses the tablet version of YouTube, and that's why they were missing the the newest features. 
That's why. Oh. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so, 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 so that means that they have to maintain three different, <laughs> no, four, because they, they need to have, if they're doing this whole split APK thing, because they have wearables, mm -hmm. they have their, uh, it's not Chrome OS, is it Chromecast TV? Yeah. So you gotta be able to scale it to that size, and then and Android, well, phone and tablet, essentially. Yep. So. Uh, they're stretching themselves too thin, man. Which again, they're they're trying to to say they're going to try to consolidate, but again, I'll believe it when I see it. Yeah. Same. Mm. Same. So. Same. Uh, oh, actually, no, I, 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 I didn't include, uh, oh, no, I, I did, the Google Pixel Fold. Um, have you seen it? I've seen it. I think it's it's neat to see uh, official support mm. for, like, a folding device from uh, the big G himself. <laughs> the big G? <laughs> <laughs> I don't even want to interpret it. <laughs> so I say to you, blessed the... Google is the god of reality. I don't know. It uh, brings down a different meaning from like Mount Moriah <laughs> and uh, what is it? Moses coming down. Some <laughs> tablet. I guess the new uh, new commandments: Thou shalt not be evil. Oh, we can just cross that one out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, go there for a skit. Oh, but the, um, I I I I, I like it. I like the design of it. They, they're, they're going with the more, um, was it Oppo that did uh, that did a folding phone that had the, when it's closed, it's actually more palmable, it's smaller. So when, when you open the tablet mode, it's already in like a longer landscape bit as opposed to Samsung's design, which is a tall bar that when you fold out, is still a portrait style okay. tablet. You have to turn it sideways for the, the thing, you know? I'm gonna go like full like kindergarten and just say like a uh, hot dog fold and hamburger <laughs> There you go, actually, yeah. So I, I, I like them going that route to try to be a bit more um hot dog. Hot dog, yeah. And hot and dog. be, <laughs> and be, it be just, it, cause it's 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 more look, I, I have big hands. I have no problems with um with with you know like doing a cross here and then like if i have to go up top i, I can literally i i can't it's hard to show like you gotta, yeah you gotta bring it in a little bit more yeah unless uh, you gotta give away your personal information yeah. well, so i i don't know if you can see like my, my thumb coming off to the side here right yeah i can i can pretty much cover almost the entirety of my phone screen very rarely do i have to hit that top corner up here and if i do i just lift the pinky so my hands mm, aren't, okay. aren't aren't that problematic for for the tall form factor. However, I understand that even still, it would be more comfortable if the phone was a little bit shorter. Maybe a oh wait, am I? I'm I'm not even. I'm I'm sorry, people. The to the viewers out there, I had it on the browser screen. Um, uh, <laughs> yeah. So I can, I can pretty much cover the tire fold with my thumb, but mm. if if it was a, a touch shorter a little bit wider it's easier on the palm grip so that's mm. that, that's good a lot of people complained about the um the bezels this is this, i don't think i've heard that what's, what's the complaint there um if, if if you bring up a picture of it if you look in like on the when the phone is unfolded the top and bottom has you know black strip uh, uh strips but it's it's not it's not that bad it, it, it's a yeah. bezel but and you're getting so much more screen that where the bezel doesn't really matter in my opinion. Yes. It's like okay, you want to get a seven point six inch screen. Also, 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 if you look, the camera is on the bezel, which means none of this weird. My camera's behind these turned off pixels. BS. I the the inner the inner camera on the Samsung three and four are awful. Because they, they, they take a pic and it's all fuzzy because of the, 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 the invisible pixels. And they try to do this post-processing to clean it up. And it's, it's just not great. It's not. Mm -hmm. And I don't have an issue with it because I don't take a lot of selfies. but And, I, and I, can, I can use that camera for doing like FaceTime calls with family, friends, etc. It's, it's not a big deal. However, 
if you're gonna like try to tout these new things, I'd, I'd rather the camera be better than 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 hindered with these little speckle spots. This is it's, it's annoying. So I, I have no qualms mm -hmm. with having a, a a chin and a forehead, and that that, that aren't even that big. They they just they're just standard. God, <laughs> people are so entitled. There's my third or fourth rant today. <laughs> But no, I, I, I like it. I, I, I do think they should have tried to have a stylus with it. Um, it's just personal thoughts. Uh, I'm not going to buy it, though, because um, I, I just I just I, don't feel the need for it. I already have a folding phone. <laughs> I think I remember Jobs when, when the first iPhone came out. He was ragging on styluses, and I think that helped shape the rest of the industry. It's like, hey, these styluses, and like just want to use like more and more natural thing. I think that just kind of ingrained on the rest of the industry. So, unfortunately, I don't think we'll see that come back. I know Samsung did that uh, S Pen thing for a while, but with the notes, but I don't know. Yeah. I'm touching just stay there with the notes. They're still, they're, they're, um, Samsung actually, oh, excuse me. Samsung still actually does the stylus. Um, so, you know, the, the note line is, is, is no more. So, I think now if you buy the Samsung S whatever Ultra or Whichever is the, the top, the top They're model. They're in the 20s now, yeah. I don't know. Um, but if, if you buy their top spec model, it comes with the uh, uh, integrated size. You know, press the bottom and slide it out, and you can, you know, yada, yada, yada okay. on it. And as for um, the Fold 3 and 4, uh, it doesn't come with the integrated stylus, but you can buy a Samsung stylus and use it on the uh, internal screen. And I, I it, it's, it's useful. And ironically, the fact that Jobs killed um styluses for the eye devices i think is what allowed samsung to become as big as they are because they were the only ones doing phablets yeah. with styluses and people loved it <laughs> oh, yeah, much remember, remember that, that that term yeah <laughs> now they're just phones because every phone is a phablet <laughs> yeah they're just getting taller because people kind of don't have the same like phone grip thing yeah and, 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 and the funny thing is, because uh, oh God, the young the youngsters are gonna be like, but big phones are like the thing. Like, why would you not want a big phone? In our era, the era when cell phones were invented, God, we sound we're getting old, Louis. You youngins. <laughs> In our era, when the cell phones were actually created, I mean, like like uh, f cell phones with touch screens. The, 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 were we alive when the first cell phone was created? The, the the big old you know backpack phone. We, 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 yeah. were, we were alive when they were also invented. Yeah. Yeah. Well, the, I don't know if I was alive. I did. I didn't know about them. Yeah, they they might have been made in the eighties. Which I'm a nine. I'm a you know, we, we're nineties babies. 80s. Yeah. I was born more when they were doing the uh, the antenna thing. Yeah. yeah. All those phones had antennas back when we were in uh, one G, two G, and three G. Yeah, yeah, man, good, good, good times, good times. Oh, do you remember the uh, the the iPhone pinky antenna gate? Yeah, and then the band gate too. Uh, what else? The Samsung on planes, the Galaxy, spicy you know. pillows. <laughs> man, we've been through some wild times in tech, and, and we're still going through wild times in tech. AI has gotten, it's actually gotten kind of scary. A little bit. I've, I'll have to show you. Well, we can probably talk about it here too. <laughs> Let's talk about this bar thing. I think it's. I think it's a flop. I don't think bar's gonna catch on. I think it's just a way for Google to say, "Hey, look, we also have AI." Like, okay, cool. The the thing now moving forward, in my opinion, is going to be the integration of AI into different products. Yeah. But now. All these apps are coming out. AI this, AI that. <laughs> it was like, okay, not all of it's AI. And you go out to sprinkle AI everywhere. It's got, I'd say, some niche use cases. Can, can I also, I, I, I kind of hate how machine learning and AI have become synonymous. They're, they're, they're not actually the, the same thing. They're, they're, they're actually distinctly different. And uh, th there is a, a an AI engineer, uh, I forget his name. Mm. But he, he's no, uh, okay. No, it, it wasn't him who who coined it. But uh, do, do you know who Michio Kaku Kiku 
Copeland? Yes, yes. Yeah. He uh, had that scholarship at uh, our university, and he actually came to visit, yeah. Yeah. Like, um, yeah. He, he talked about how like the new phrases now are like AI phase one, AI phase two, AI phase three. And the reason why these terms were created is because AI phase one is essentially machine learning because they kept calling machine learning AI. And, and phase two is when you actually get into the actual formation of artificial intelligence. And then phase three is like the I've become self-aware type of AI I can think for myself and actually, you know, that 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 whole nonsense. Um, yeah. Good distinction there, by the way, because a lot of it is just machine learning and model training and it's it's far from what i would call intelligent they're parrots i suppose yeah for the most part. yeah oh I, uh, uh, quick quick tangent because you talked about parrots uh uh i saw, you see the video the, the, uh, what you probably have, i don't know there's a video about a dude who has a a, a cockatoo i think it's not a parrot but it's a cockatoo and i don't know the you know, cockatoo the their, their bird family are very intelligent birds um but he's he taught how like have con like conversations with it and so he'll take it and he'll like bring it to like a, an object and he'll tap on it and go, what is this? And then the bird will look at it, peck at it and goes, ah, I think this is wood. I think this is wood. And he goes, no, 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 that's linoleum. And the bird goes, what? What? Looks at it again, taps on it and goes, no, I think this is rock. <laughs> then he goes to his wall, taps on it, it taps it with his beak and goes, this is glass. <laughs> it's like no it's like glass but it's not glass this is linoleum what it's called linoleum linoleum huh <laughs> I was like you're having a conversation with a bird this is weird oh uh, sorry I've not seen the video if you find it you guys send it to me <laughs> I <don't know. laughs> need a Jamie <laughs> <laughs> yes oh man <laughs> um where were you though uh topics things um the Bar. machine learning and distinctions yeah between yeah. that and the AI and I'm, I'm, I'm with you, man. Bard is... It, well, so... I, I think Bard is more capable than what we see. I think Google saw what was happening with ChatGPT and the other one that people started trying to have um, weird relationships with. And was just like, yeah, well, let's not have Bard be able to do this. And so anytime you use Bard, it actually, like, warns you what not to do and, like, saying that it won't do this and, like, keep it very simple because they don't want to get wild. Um, and did we talk, did we, we might, we might have talked about this in the previous episode, but did you see what chat GP did, uh, chat GPT did in terms of one of those captures, the, are you a chat robot capture? Chat GPT, um, the one where like someone, it like, it like got, it, it was attached to someone's bank account and it paid like 40 bucks to someone for something to do it or something like that. Oh yeah. Yeah. I'm yes. thinking of a different story. Yeah. I don't so, know the exact details now. Someone had a captcha, and they they wondered if ChatGPT could solve it because are you a robot kind of thing. So he asked yeah. ChatGPT to solve a captcha. ChatGPT couldn't do it. So then it went to an online third party service where you can pay people to do things for you, and try to pay someone to solve the captcha for them. The person who responded was just like, "Are are you a robot?" And ChatGPT was like, "No, I'm vision impaired, and I'm having trouble solving it." Yeah, there you go. And so, it, 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 essentially, it, it, it did... I can put that line. Right. <laughs> but, 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 like, you, you can argue, like, it still broke the, the rules that Microsoft was trying to set in place for it. Not to um, uh, mislead humans. Um, not to try to make decisions on its own to do other stuff. And, you know, so I'm like, okay, look, it, it's, 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 not, it's not sentient yet, but it's, it's doing stuff that I find troubling. <laughs> I think we're as close to sentient as we are to uh, Tesla self-driving cars. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <One day. laughs> yes. It works sometimes. And when it doesn't work, it's catastrophic. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. The truth. Uh, <laughs> oh man. So I don't know, man. I, 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 I have no, no, I, I don't have any personal Entry or in investment into ChatGPT, Bard, etc. Yada yada yada. I I I I, I want to see how it develops, but in terms of this, Google is just trying to say, hey, we're doing AI, just as you mentioned earlier, and it's it's just kind of a it's, it's a nothing burger. It's, it, again, having Chromebook Project X in place of Bard would have made more sense, in my opinion. Which, to be fair, 
that's also bad. In, matter of fact, uh, Chromebook Project X is just uh, beefier Chromebooks, like a, a Chromebook that has a, a Ryzen CPU in it. Which, which I still don't understand. Like it's it's a browser. It's a browser. People, who's who's buying this? Who's got a mountain of like academia? I suppose like they wouldn't need it either. Cool. You, you can you you can still get great performance off of mid to low tier CPUs for a browser. Just have a lot of memory. Memory is your main concern. Who's the IT guy at a school district? <laughs> Being fools into getting all these like Ryzen powered. <laughs> And also, yeah, no, uh, I, I have I, I have added I to the know. added to the show notes. This is also what, what what I don't get. Google spent a lot of time and money on two things. Their their uh, uh what's their new CPUs for the pixels called? Uh, is it, is it uh, Tensor? Xenos. Tensor, I think it is Tensor. I'm confusing it with TensorFlow, but I think that's like a library for something. It is pixel. T- tensor chips, yes. Tensor chips, okay. So they, they, they spent a lot of R&D, money, time, efforts on these tensor chips. And then they also had that project uh, Fuchsia, Fuchsia OS. And I'm like, okay, so... Oh, that, that's an old name there, yeah. What, what, what are you doing with it? And, 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 and again, don't get me wrong, like, you know, whatever. But for in, in, in Fuchsia, Fuchsia's case. But if you're going to make a whole new... You know, beefy uh, uh, carve out for Chromebooks. I would think you would want to use your new Tensor chips for it. What? Why are you going the route of like higher end Intel and AMD CPUs? It- I think I think Google's started to rot, and it, they're getting more corporate-y, They're losing their passion, their fuel. They're just making all these dumb decisions left and right. I, I think they're just they're gonna fade on the back. Probably, man, and 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 I don't know. Maybe this is the perfect time for Essence of Zen to be able to step its game up in terms of software and hardware development. I, I don't. <laughs> but no, uh, I, I don't know, man. No, no, don't be you. <laughs> yo, no, no, yo, like for for real, for real. We're, we're, I'm gonna add that to the, yes. Um, I don't, I don't know, man. I, I'm. I'm not concerned about Google, but I'm just gonna feel like I don't know who the, who they are anymore. I don't know what they want to do anymore. I don't think they know what they are. Yeah, there's no passion there anymore. Mm-mm. And, and, I think and, and, when they were smaller, but I think they've kind of lost their way a lot. Yeah, and, and, and I've 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 okay, I'm renting again. I was say, I've rented in the past about how Google isn't even the ones pushing Android 4 anymore or their uh, Android Wear OS. I'm mad at Samsung now because the, Sam- the newer Samsung watches use Google Wear OS. And the battery life is drastically smaller than when they had Tizen on the Samsung uh, watches. I'm sorry. Google was just eating face staffs. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Martin Lawrence. <laughs> Yo, we need, we need a new uh, Bad Boys movie. Uh, ho- hopefully, uh, in, in, in the next one, we can see Will Smith slap the, the smack out of somebody. Again. Anyway, <laughs> I'm not. It's low, low. It's a low hanging fruit. I know it's old, but it's still funny to me. I, whatever. I think it was only last year, wasn't it? It's still fresh. Right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. A lot of people say, "Oh, you know, move on." Literally, he's all here apologizing. Like, yeah, no, it's fine. He, you know, I'm, I'm not saying he's a horrible person anymore, but it's, it's still funny. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna still make reference. Like, I still go uh, got him for certain things because, again, I'm old and I, I don't know the, the the new memes. Uh, no, there was um, there was one I learned about recently, but I've already forgot it because I'm old. The uh, computer company. What are you talking about? Celebrity, just like the uh, uh, Gen Z memes and, and culture and like you know like new sayings and things. Um, uh, they check for real, for real, no cap. <laughs> so yeah, I I, I, I know we remember those. There was a new one going like um, I I'm 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 that one or I'm I'm V six or I'm 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 something. I, I I don't I don't know the reference. I don't get it, but I saw that it was being said a lot across various different communities. I. I I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I have to browse TikTok again to push up on my lingo. Young, they're saying. 
If I if I go back on TikTok, I'm just gonna watch those uh, things of like um uh mechanic. No, I, I, I this I I talked about I think last last episode like uh, mechanics react to tick uh, TikTok mechanic tips or whatever. Where it was like use a thing. X and X reacts to TikTok video. Anything like that is always funny. Yeah. It's like, the mechanic is literally watching this dude take a soldering iron on these walled tires, like tires that are just shot to, to just no, no return. And they carved in new grooves. And the mechanic is like, oh, oh no, 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 please do not drive on those. No, 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 no. And don't tell people to do this because they, they you will get them killed. What are you doing? Oh man, the problem of like short thirty second content. Mm. Or or like uh um when TikTok first came out, I remember one of the things that went viral was a girl who was just like, Oh, I like the look of braces, but I don't want to get braces because I don't need braces. So she got like these little like diamond necklaces things that look like small little brackets, and then she would cut it and then she used super glue and would glue the little diamonds and then put them on her teeth with super glue. Yeah, apparently you super raise your kids online. <laughs> <laughs> or just like, you know, when they come out with that, like, what are you doing? <laughs> Talk to your children, please. Please. Please! Oh my goodness. Okay. I'm done ripping Google a new one. I'm just... I don't... I don't... Now for Apple. Now, now, now for Apple. And, and, and Apple has a lot... I have a lot of... Mm. of okay, so, you know, I, I'm just... I, 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 we're we're going to talk about the MacBooks and the, and the iPad stuff, but I, I want to just kind of jump to the, the, the M2 Mac Pro. You know, like okay. the, the, the cheese grater. Dude, what... <laughs> Have you have you have have you seen the the internals for the the new M2 Mac Pros? So when you when you mean Mac Pros, you mean the uh, the 16 inch uh, MacBook Pros, like the laptops? No, I mean like like the the desktop. You know, like the you can spend oh, three hundred dollars um, for some wheels on the case. Oh, yeah. Okay, you said cheese grater. I thought you meant like the okay the actual like piece the the desktop. Yeah, the desktop the Mac Pro desktop. Yeah. Um. No, I've not seen. I've not seen the specs. I've seen the the design of it, and I just kind of thought cheese grater too when I first saw it. But uh, I'm just still iffy on the whole arm thing. Well, okay, I am more sold on the arm chips <laughs> for mobile devices. Yeah. Like laptops. I'm like okay, right. More more performance per per buck or per watt, whatever. Depending on the program, uh, not slowing on desktops at all. Uh, you're gonna be chewing up power anyway. Just I don't. I guess you could throw more cores at it. I just I don't know. But I'm curious to see what your what your gripe is with the with the new ones specifically. Cause I don't think I've caught on. <laughs> oh, here it goes. Okay, so. The M2 chip itself is not my, my, my gripe. Okay. My gripe is, you know, I'm not the biggest fan of Apple, but I've, I've always commended them on having great vision and thought and, and putting attention to details for the long game. This is the second generation Mac, um, uh, Mac Pro with the M chips, you know, the, their ARM chips. When they did the, no, actually, Wait, it's the second or third. Was the first Mac Pro cheese grater using Intel CPUs? I believe it was. Oh, yeah. Oh man, that okay. That I makes believe it was, and I think they rolled out the <sighs> uh, the M twos on uh, on the laptops first. Yeah, because because yeah, because the, the first Mac the cheese grater Mac Pro the first one you could you could upgrade the RAM and stuff. I, I, yeah, I, I remember now. Okay, so mm -hmm. they, they 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 did that. Right, and you know you could upgrade the RAM, you could change the CPU, you could you could change GPUs, and you had all these different slots, and you could open up the chassis, and you had actual, you know, you you put stuff in places in the big case, and it was very expensive. 
Then they were just like, okay, well, we're moving to the the, 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 the the Apple M chips. Where, you know, the, the, the ARM chips, you don't replace the, the RAM because it's all soldered on to the chip. Right. And, and uh, another and, issue with it, yeah. And the yeah. graphics. And then so it was all like, in one. okay. Yep. So then it was like, we're going we're gonna to release a Mac, a Mac Pro desktop machine with the new M2 chip in the same case. And I was like, okay, so they must have found a way to have like upgradable RAM, a GPU, and all these PCI Express slots and et cetera, and yada, 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 to make, to make use of all that space and still having that expensive machined aluminum case of theirs with the $300 wheel additions to buy for it. No, <laughs> <My understanding. laughs> but, but, but no, no, they, they just, they just don't want to redesign a, a new case. Legit. If you look in the internals for the new M2 Mac pro, it's a lot of empty space. Mm. The components are all in the top left. And on the very bottom right are just four PCI uh, PCI Express slots for like, things like audio cards for professional music mixers or like video editors and etc. You don't even put a GPU in those slots. Just things like sound cards or like uh, may maybe um, a, a RAID card, maybe. But and I, I don't even know about the, about the RAID cards because they're iffy about how they do storage, right? So. You have like I'm looking at the picture now. Two, four, eight PCIe slots, which you most likely you probably can't stick a video card in there because it won't be compatible. Maybe you only select audio cards, all yep. eight of them. <laughs> yep. And I, I just I, I a PCIe NVMe card, a network card. All eight of the slots. <laughs> yeah, just a lot of yeah. Not to waste some money, man. I it was a space really. Well, I'll would, I would say both, but but I I don't I don't I don't get it though because so so aside aside from the audio cards that that professionals might require, right? I I still think you would have a better bet with just buying a Mac Mini, a Mac Mini Pro. Or a MacBook, and then using like a, 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 a USB C Thunderbolt dock that has some form of audio connectivity to make use of what you need. Because these Mac Pro desktop things are literally like 5,000, 6,000, 7,000, and can go up to like 12,000 to higher. But right. it's, it's the same friggin' hardware in the Mac Mini and your MacBooks. Sans the PCIe slots. Why would anyone buy? Hey, yeah, uh, Is yeah, it Mac Mini? yeah. The, 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 the same because everything's on on the, on the M chips. I mean, like, so you, you, could, you could essentially just like double stack, like it, or maybe make it a little bit fatter too, like just a Mac, yeah. not a Mac Mini, right? And then just have a little slot for PCIe, I suppose, just a little bit bigger. Yes. Uh, and, and, and again, I. I, I, I I understand the, the 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 reason why they likely did this is because they don't want to spend money doing a new design for a new case for the M2 chip. But, yeah, but but then this is why I say like this is so unlike Apple, who typically has the long game in mind. How do you spend R and D working on this cheese grater case for this Intel's you know uh, design uh, machinery, and then literally in less than a year release M1 chips? That makes your thing obsolete. And then when you want to bring your M2 chips to this, this form factor, you don't make any changes. So you waste space. You use the same freaking design. And, and mind you, Lewis, these are going to be new milled cases, right? Right. And that's kind of going against their green thing. It's essentially a Mac Mini inside of this case, right? Right. <laughs> so that's a bunch of waste. Right. So I'm saying, I... Dang. Wow, what a I've, what a most of engineering talent too, right? Mm. You're, you're thinking about the case designers like trying to figure out the airflow for this, and then you go ahead and change up the architecture mm. and all those unbands that you made, so the airflow would be just perfect. And then you throw like an M chip, and now you don't need it anymore. Now you just your design just gone in one generation. 
not I, being used. I, I just, I don't, I don't know. I, 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 I l- let me, let, let me explain what I, I thought was going to happen because I was like, okay, my gripes with Apple aside, I expected for them to do what they do best. And so I was like, okay, if they're going to showcase a Mac Pro desktop, you know, form factor um, yep. with the M2 chip, I was like, okay, so they probably have figured out a way to easily do things like upgradable storage, memory, the GPU, and all that stuff. I was because like if you look at the um, the Mac Mini M1 and M2, they have these you know SSD NVMe uh, uh, you know modules, but they're not replaceable. Like they're, they're hard coded based off uh, I'm either like like a uh, a Mac address with like an ID or or something. So if you try to switch them, they won't work. Or if you try to expand them with, with if you if you buy two because there, there's two slots. There are two slots in each of them the, on, on the motherboard. So if you buy two and try to take the, 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 the SSD out of the second one and put it in the second slot of the first one, it won't recognize it. Mm-hmm. I, now, that, that, that already grinds my gears in many ways, Lewis. So and, we need to give Apple more control of the hardware, right? Mm. So exactly I was like, what the needed. right. So my thought was, okay, so maybe they're trying to do things slowly to ensure that they have optimization to make this possible down the road. And by the time they release the Mac Pro, the things for professionals who might need this kind of functionality, they would bring it to them. Right. Okay. But no, they they didn't. They just they just put the same M you know M two hardware in a big old chassis that just has PCIe slots. Oh man, and for like it looks like it's starting at seven grand now. Yeah, and, Apple inflation, <laughs> and, and 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 this concerns me. I'm 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 not dismissing the optimized performance of of what they've achieved. I'm 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 not. It is it, it is uh, 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 commendable. It is praiseable. It, it is phenomenal. But it's not like a universe apart from modular <laughs> infrastructure. <laughs> So, I, I don't. I don't want manufacturers to go. Let me do what Apple is doing, and then start fusing the memory to the CPU and the GPU to the CPU, and lock all this stuff down. And you can't, you know, upgrade it. And I, I don't. I don't think we got to worry about it anytime soon. But twenty years from now, that might become the 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 norm because everybody wants to 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 lock down their own thing, and it's like. I think part of the issue too is that um, there there might be a um, a gap in knowledge for new generations. Oh yeah. Because for our generation, the millennials, we kind of grew up along with the moder- modernization of computers, right, mm-hmm. and desktops before we actually had all that competing power in the phone, where everything is already socket on, socket on chip, right? Everything's already soldered on. So I don't necessarily think. The newer generation knows how to shop for computers, nor what the trade-offs are in some of these computer systems and what you're giving up. No, I mean, I, I've, I've already, um, uh, not, not to put too much, you know, I don't like, you know, the, my, my day job stuff. I, I, I've seen a uh, new hire straight out of college ask if they could get an iPad to do work from. And, you know, it, I mean, if, if you're not an engineer or you're not doing any programming or yada, 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 and you probably yeah, can't do it with the iPad. That, right. But, Email. Yeah. Excel, maybe. But I, that still is kind of a, like a. Um, yeah. <laughs> Why don't you just want a screen, a full yeah. keyboard, right? Yeah. The clickety clackety. At least as an engineer, I love that. I mean, I know some non techies who enjoy that too, but yeah, uh, it, don't get me wrong. Like, like yeah, I, ideally, I would say get a work laptop and an iPad because I, just right. just just in case you you need something you can't do on a smaller form factor, you can flip out. The thing. But they're just like, nah, I just want to be able to touch the screen and just like do what I, I'm just like, ah, okay, um. all right. It's like, oh, I've I've never I've never changed RAM before. It, you just just. <laughs> pull two levers, pull out, and then like stick something yeah. in, and it's like, nah, I might break it. It's like, trust me, we, you can bend that, <laughs> you can bend that board pretty sucker. <laughs> yeah. uh, I mean, there's no YouTube videos, like, if you could change oil, you could change uh, <laughs> I don't know what you, 
Well, maybe, maybe. <laughs> well, I guess even people can't do that. Yeah, and you, you mentioned a YouTube video, and I was gonna say you remember that controversial PC building YouTube video, right? You gotta, you gotta refresh my, my memory here. I, I can't remember if it was like The Verge or Kotaku or somebody, but like a, a, a guy, uh, he was, he's black, curly, you know, curly short hair. Then he had glasses. Uh, Linus Tech Tips brought him on uh, on a live stream to give him a second chance at trying to build a PC. But like he um, he put the CPU oh. on with like the plastic still on it. I think he, he didn't put like any um, uh, thermal paste or something. Uh, it, it, it was it was just. Um, no, no. To, to to his credit, <laughs> apparently the story about how that happened was that uh, he was not the one that was supposed to be doing that video. The guy just stopped showing up to work. The 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 the, the producer was just like, we, "We're gonna film this video. You go film that video." And he was just like, "Well, I gotta do my job, and I don't know what I'm doing, but uh, I'm I'm gonna do it." Okay, that's a bit more forgivable. At the same time, I wanted to be like, "Please don't tell people you watch my show." Right. Right. It's bad advertising. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, but 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 yeah. So I, 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 I Apple. I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't know what you're doing. Um. The the the, 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 the the yeah. Please, please. Just if you don't if you don't have a use for a desktop Mac Pro, just stick with your Mac Minis and your MacBooks. Just just for now, until you figure out actually making use of such space in that that chassis for a desktop. Don't use it. It's wasteful. It's pointless. You know what? I say this, but I guarantee you, it's gonna sell. So you know what? They're they're laughing home with 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 money in in, in the bank. So maybe I, I should take solid advice up. though. Yeah. <sighs> Mac Mini or MacBook. Yeah. Um. The the MacBook lineups that they, they look fine. M2 more power. Uh. I I don't I don't like. Looking at their presentations anymore because their their graphs about performances is always this is our best yet or uh, two times stronger than before. They don't actually give you the specs and the numbers and it's just bogus stuff. My my thing is just like compared to like you know our previous generation. I was like okay, but what about like a similarly spec like Intel machine? Like I'll tell you what, man. <laughs> Boy, let me tell you what. <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah, so for work we got we got Max right, and I I don't want to give up my Intel machine because I know because we use Docker a lot. Performance for Docker on ARM chips is hot garbage because you got that Rosetta translation layer. And I'm like, nope, it's not worth it for me. I do not want to slow it down with an upgraded computer. No, it's it, ARM doesn't work for everything. It's not great at virtualization, and that's a chunk of my work. A good chunk of my work. <sighs> I uh, mm, I, I want to kind of vent about my day job, but I, I, I ruffle some feathers every day. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'll probably tell you some sometime off uh, uh, uh off <laughs> off the record. Oh, right. uh, anyway, anyway, um, I don't know, man. Uh, the the iPad stuff, um. Whatever you, you you're bringing widgets and things and, and more cross compatibility, you're bringing more features from Android over, and I don't mean that as a knock, like like genuinely, like good. It's, it's about time, and I, I think yeah, Android yeah. needs to take more stuff from from iPad OS as well. It's just, it's, what, what, what was it? Great artists steal. What, 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 what that saying? Um, right. Cool. Good artists create. Great art steal. Yeah, something yeah. like that. Uh, but also, and again, I'm not an iPad user, but can y'all just make a freaking iPad calculator? Every every iPad user I know always makes a joke and complain about there not being a cal- a, a, a first party Apple calculator what? on iPad. Yeah, apparently, they, yeah. And and I I will I, I this actually kind of irks me a bit more because I've I've seen um what's his name uh, t- uh not 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 Tim Apple yes the other uh, one Tim Apple um. He has describe him to me. I mean, no. He has he has a decent amount of hair, all, all silver slash white. Um, uh, um, yeah, I know exactly what you're talking about. I, um, crap. He's always doing the presentation. Is yes. Uh, I believe he was in. A, he, he was asking an interview why they haven't made an iPad calculator app yet. And he was just like, "Oh, well, you know, we 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 at Apple, we feel that we should put our time and focus on things that." 
you know takes more precedence and there's a, there's a bunch of great third party calculators out there already and i'm just like that's bs because there have been great craig, third party Patrick. yes yes yeah. craig but it's like you can't sit here and say that because there are a great number of third party applications uh or, or apps on your ipad already that you guys have killed by launching your first party versions of it so you can do the same thing with calculator. Don't 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 sit here and say you won't because they're yeah, already good apps that exist. Yeah, man, just just, show, just say you yeah. don't want to. Talk out. Just gave your developers a month to just copy over the source code. I don't know if they even need that much. Just scale it. They might just mostly a scaling job. Why not just take the iPhone's ca- uh, calculator app and just do a quick. Let's make this here bigger and, and, and make it tablet ver. I don't. Whatever. Or just admit it, man. It's like you know what? We were so busy on designing the new Apple chips. It was just a shortcoming. It's just a software thing. We'll push out, push it out in a future version of iOS. Something like that. Like, come on, man. Yeah. I, uh... Yeah. It's like, come on, man. Just, just be upfront about it. We just forgot. Mm. And, and then, They're so busy perfecting the experience for everything else for you here at Apple that they'll come in a future update. We apologize for the <laughs> shortcomings. I don't know, man. There's there's different ways you could do it. Speaking on uh, being busy trying to create whole new experiences, what what, what are your, what are your thoughts on on the Vision Pro? I I got I got to uh, hear it. Wonderlight. Um, two. <laughs> That price tag, man! Holy moly! Uh, I will say, they might have, they might have left an opening there by slapping Pro at the end of there, suggesting that there might be a, a Apple Vision that's significantly cheaper. But then, what's that experience going to be like? VR is very much about um, the the crispness of the graphics. Are you guys going to downsize the the graphics? Because that's going to tear up the experience. You well, did you guys move yourself an out there, yeah. right? Are you guys gonna really push out like a subpar VR experience and then it's gonna end up being like the I guess the meta? The metaverse, that thing, right? And and the other thing too for me is like Who's this for? <laughs> Just someone who like holds your like money getting it in their pocket? Like, okay, so let's say this was two grand. Even just one grand, right? Just the price of a, a MacBook Pro. Right. I guess MacBook Air. Um, I, guess, I think the pros are at twelve hundred. Um, like, yeah, there's no developers yet, but you're trying to market this to everybody. Just pick a niche. Like in, in the past, what Vive, the HTC Vive done, is, and I guess I would say Facebook as well. They're geared it towards gaming. Yeah. That seems to be the niche that's like the niche that's like hitting, and they're trying to market it to working. I mean, I guess, man, you have to push this whole cultural shift over there to that, but I don't, I don't think you could do that, Apple. I, I just think you're way too late to the game. You don't have jobs. It's more of a visionary to help you out in that direction. I think that's going to flop. I just don't think the spirit, the leadership, the cohesion is there. But, 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 Lewis, we, we, we can't just cater just, just to, like, uh, uh, working stuff because uh, uh, return to office is the new thing, and, like, no, oh, nobody man. wants to be in the office all just... Uh, 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 I'm just, oh my god! <laughs> I can. Oh man, you know I I have a perfect skit in mind now where someone is is in full immersed. So for for viewers who did not catch the um the event, there is a uh, a feature with the crown on the ah dev- uh, what the heck I think uh, little like the Apple Watch style right? Yes, the 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 it's crown similar, thingy. Yeah. But um, they have it so you can immerse, like you, you crank it up and it makes you more immersed. Like you see less of the, the, the real world around you, right? And you know how you, you select by tapping your fingers together. So imagine if you're in the, the office and you're in full immersion mode walking around just, at, you know, uh, your, you know, your arms are, going. are, you know, chest, chest level height. And you're just walking around. <laughs> Oh man, they added feedback. This feels so uh so so not like <laughs> It's firm but not yet too squishy. It's it's perfect. How did Apple do it? <laughs> we lost Zane. <laughs> we lost Zane. <laughs> that 
wasn't expecting the. Oh, it's so firm yet squishy. <laughs> oh, so uh, but so uh, I also I, I don't know if you if you caught this, Lewis. Um, did you realize that they they didn't they were very selective about the terms that they used if you, if you mm. notice they 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 yeah. never they never say virtual reality or augmented reality yeah they they're trying to market it as like their own thing they call it uh spatial computing yeah there you go it's like it's some b s like marketing <laughs> think tank type term <laughs> right and I'm just like Bro, it's VR. Like everyone, all the media is calling it like Apple's take on VR headset. Like nice pivot. Everyone's calling it VR. Uh, oh, also, um, when I, when I when I first saw the presentation and I saw the whole like people can see your eyeballs uh, thing, I thought I, I I thought they were using the um I forget what it's called. it's a, it's a certain technology of uh, sending current through frosted glass. Yes, I thought the same exact thing. Like, oh, that's a pretty cool like actual non-commercial use of that technology and then i, he I heard uh, marquez's uh review i was saying like oh actually um there's no glass in the front that's like uh permeable it's 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 like it, it's, it is glass but it's not it's it's, it's, a, it's a video it's, it's opaque I'm like oh it's a video or it's a screen it's on the screen. front. Like, yeah. Oh, that's creepy, dude. <laughs> I don't know that that's creepy, man. I'm just seeing this projection. I'm like, that's that just went from cool to like creepy. I can't even see that person's eyes. And I, I like, oh man. I, oh, and then after after I heard that, because I actually saw Marquez's video first, and then I saw the Apple like trailer thing, and I was like. Oh my god, this whole scene, I will talk about this, this whole scene with like the damn kids is much more dystopian and creepy to me, like, oh my god, it's not even your real dad's eyes, man. I told you, I, dude, it is, it is the most jarring thing. I was like, who, who at Apple thought that that was okay? Who at Apple? No, 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 no. like, 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 oh, oh I, no, I, I gotta, for, for the visual people, I gotta, if, if they have not seen, I, I, let me find the friggin', is it on the Apple um, site? Oh, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm going through it now. So, like, uh, viewers, you're probably seeing this, like, oh, I'm, I can get up from my, 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 my movie watching to grab popcorn or soda at the fridge. Hey, no, oh, God, where, where is it? Where is it? Okay, so when you're referring to a switchable glass or electric switchable glass, something that's called privacy smart glass. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I thought, too. And I was like, oh, that's, that's pretty neat. We'll actually get to see, like, a uh, something geared towards consumers that uses that that's pretty neat because more common in commercial spaces as like a show y cool type deal for meeting rooms and whatnot yeah i'm like that's neat but then they went this route i'm like bro that's so the that's so creepy perfect opportunity yeah it, it, cause it, you know because i remember when I, when I saw the eyes i was like I, that's, that's what i thought it was but i was like the eyes like, like they're floating like it's not actually there and like that it now makes sense because it's a freaking uh uh like screen so it's like a monitor in the front and it it just it doesn't look like your it, it looks like your eyes are disconnected from your your face, and it's just yeah. it, I, I mm, there's something just it's, off putting. It's like that uh that effect when someone's wearing like some really thick prescription glasses, yes. they're like emphasized right like on the virtual thing. Um, and I don't know why they went that direction. I, they could have gone the whole like uh smart glass approach right then the downside would be that you couldn't see blc the other person's eyes it'd be like uh sunglasses right yes you could right like why don't why didn't you guys go that approach and just go like uh what is it scott summers you know kind of like cyclops type route where <laughs> you could see them but then they can't see you like okay whatever yeah i don't know why we went with that creepy eye thing that's weird to me it's like oh if somebody approaches you have this dynamic thing showcase that you know when you can see them when you can't and i just imagine myself walking up to somebody and like the thing just clearing up and i'm seeing eyeballs and like the eye the eyes kind of like just turn at me like, oh actually that would be a great scene in a horror movie i hope they make, they make that toggleable i think if i ever own one i would just no you're not gonna i'm not gonna freak you out with this creepy display oh man uh, I will say, I will say, um, I think the use case he did throw in there for like flying and like, you know, just zoning out and watching a movie is kind of cool, but like, I think it'd be a little bit of a D-bag to just kind of do that with like the, the side, <laughs> side blaring speakers going off. Like, why didn't you just show this person with like some headphones or something? 
<laughs> exactly. Oh, also, um, this is what I, I actually I, I think both mentioned it, but it could only be like one of the two. It's either MKBHD and or oh, that was a weird sound. Did, did you play? Did you play a soundboard, or was that my? It might have been like my browser. I had like. It might have been your browser. I didn't play a sound. Okay. And like for a hot second, I had a choir going. Oh. Uh, no, that was that was not me. Okay. Oh no. Okay. It, it, yeah, it's, it's. Introducing Apple Vision my... Pro. The era of. Okay, yeah, I, I tried pulling up the, the the Apple Vision Pro thing, and apparently... Can that, you put your hands on the no. oh, no. said... Mute! I don't want to get copyright. <laughs> you YouTube, what are you doing? <laughs> it's not listening. Okay. Okay, I got it. I had to mute it through the tab, you know, the, the, the browser function instead of the actual YouTube function. I think because I have... Oh, okay. A uh, red cinema camera running, the webcam running, a browser running, and OBS recording, I think, is, is having, you know, just a hard time processing all of the actions. Um, you know what? Screw it. I'm going to, for, for for the Vision version of the podcast, I'll just in, 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 include the clip as, like, in, in, in post. Uh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but yeah, the, the, it's, it's, I just... Okay, so for the, let me go to the previous uh, point first. So either MKBHD and or your average consumer mentioned that when they went to actually try out the headset at the Apple event, they were there in person, uh, they couldn't record them actually using it. And now I think I might know why because of these, but from these statements, there's a third strap or a, or I guess a second strap in this case. So if you look at the um, the, the trailer, the reveal, and the use, it's, it's just the headset with the, you know the the fabric going around the head, right? Right. Just the uh, just the headband, right? Yes. The reverse headband thing you got going on. Yeah. So apparently in the box when they sell this, it will include another strap that is optional, or you know, is, is you can attach it and, re- and remove it for the front on the top of your head, right? Just like you know, Facebook Meta's uh, Meta Quest and like uh, HTC yeah, Vive and like almost every other heavy headset, you know, because the weight is heavy. Well, lighter headset, I would say, because thing is, this thing is a solid aluminum with actual glass. Yes, and that's and what. I remember Marquez commenting on that, like it's a premium feel, but man, is this thing heavy for like what the half hour I got to play with it? Yes. And that, that the average consumer was just like when he found out that there was another strap, he's like why why aren't you mar- why aren't you showing this? Because the thing is so heavy, you probably should just be using that with it. But I guess because it doesn't look like what Apple wants. Mm. Oh my god, they're just extending this. <laughs> there, there's a point where the aesthetics just have to give a bit for functionality. You, you look get functionality first aesthetics on on version two I, I, don't, I don't know man i i just <sighs> oh also oh, go, go ahead sir one of my gripes right now is uh one of my gripes right now is people uh pushing the whole uh oh but it's apple right when Apple does things to catch on, like, <sighs> yeah, I, I don't. I think you guys are being willfully ignorant of Apple's past failures. Like, yeah. remember Firewire? Nothing oh. that failed and flopped. But butterfly keys. <laughs> touch touch bar sensors on above the keyboard. <laughs> or uh, I, I would even call this one that Apple's still sticking to. Uh, displays that like a touch screen that's not caught on the industry is still playing touch screens like because people like that i was at best buy the other day and this guy was at uh because we're looking at the max and i was like i mean these look pretty but like why don't they have touch screens on i'm like yeah that's a big thing and then we overheard someone in the back and like yeah actually i'm here today actually returning my uh, my macbook because I just I missed my touch screen. <laughs> I'm actually gonna downgrade to like the iPad because uh, I I just missed the touch screen. 
I don't know why they're not putting in uh, touchscreens on these. That just goes yeah. to show you that Microsoft could really hit it big even more with their Surface line if they just worked better with um, a, a, a touch mode or touch... Well, to be fair, Windows 11 is a little bit better about that, but Windows 11 brings a whole other suite of um, annoyances, so I, I'm not even going to go down that line. <laughs> Actually, you know, you know what? Quick tangent. Quick right, tangent. Let's go. Quick tangent. Go. I, both Microsoft and Apple are guilty of this, right? And, 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 and again, I, I have my issues with Apple, but I commend them on what they usually do really well. And that, that used to be consistency with the UI and well-placed uh, 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 user experience, UX, right? Ever since they've added the notch to their laptops and stuff, it, have you ever used like one of those third-party uh, like, Firefox or, or anything that's not an application from Apple? Oh, and they, Apple. Yeah. And they had you know, the, um, the, the toolbar. Like, like you know, it, it can be files, edit, view, yeah, but you know that that that, that kind of thing. Oh, yeah, yeah. If, yeah. if you if you have an application that has a lot of those, and you and you're you're on a Mac with a, a notch, you just you, you just can't you just can't access all all those things right. unless you not you're, you're not in like a maximized uh, uh, window. But if it's maximized, this is where Microsoft has the upper hand, in my opinion, because they do like slow changes and slow rollouts. You have applications that are able to catch up to all this stuff. Whereas like Apple's always changing things yes. so often that just the ap application developer just can't keep up. Hmm. But at the same time though, Microsoft is I mean, guilty they of- can't keep up. Yeah, I, I, I knew what you meant. Yeah. Uh, but at the same time for Microsoft, it's like the same issue, but in, in different areas. With Windows, it, it, uh, even a across uh, updates, right? So like Windows 11, the, the whole, when you right click something, and you had to click show more options just to get more options in the context. Menu. Oh, yeah. Why? Yeah, yeah. Why? 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 Like, like, look, look, I, I, <sighs> I would have liked it better if I had Windows Metro experience been just pushed back until it was actually fully done. I know it's going to take a lot of effort because Windows has so many configuration screens. But I would appreciate that approach better because I had to relearn where everything was, and I said, you know what, screw this, I'm just going to learn the command line shortcuts for all this, <laughs> so I just type out the screen quicker. I feel like I have to relearn Windows, and I feel like I learned all this to a T. Uh, now, like, all this 10-year knowledge is gone. Yeah, and it, it, same thing for uh, literally just, like, the, the setting setting menu uh, navigation, and it's like, okay, I, I get you want to try something new, but and, and I, I've said this plenty of times on multiple episodes across our podcast. If you're going to try something new, cool. Just make sure every single option and feature that was in the old menu is displayed in the new one. I shouldn't have to open the old menu just to get to an option that's not there on the new one. And it's weird that you have a button to open the old one because you know the options aren't there. But you do yeah, I don't know if they're getting lazy, if they feel like they have to like meet some weird deadline to push these stuff out for the, I, I don't know. But like, it's, 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 it's stupid. Like, like for, I, no, there, there, there is, I, you can't, you can't tell me a reason that, that would make me change my mind that, it, that, that, that it's not stupid. You, you, you can't. Because it makes no sense for you to have this whole new design scheme and you feel the need to have a button that goes show more, show more options. And now, I got, now, now every right click, I have to have an additional click because the original content or the, the, the starting context menu does not have what I need. Right. At, at, at this point, I'm gonna go into the registry and just change the freaking context menu. Have you, have you ever had to install Windows 11 from scratch? Uh, no. <laughs> oh, oh, no, I, I, know, I know what you're about to, like the, them trying to forcefully have you connect to the internet to register with the Microsoft account and all that jazz and yep. yeah, yeah. Set up my wife's computer. I'm like, okay, surely there's just a hidden option in here. They've got to have an option here to set up online. Cause come on, man. Like I, I can't. Like I have a. I just didn't want to run an Ethernet cord. I just didn't have a long enough Ethernet cord for this particular setup. And I was like, okay, I have a. I have a Wi-Fi chipset, but mm. I need to download drivers for it because uh, Windows doesn't have one straight up. So I'm like, okay, 
I, there's got to be a way here to install it offline. Nope. I had to like go online on my phone, figure out like, no, come on, tell me this isn't true. Like, oh, no, no, you have to go in here, you have to go back on this menu, you have to bring up this secret command prompt, type in this secret passphrase, and then you can set up offline. It's like, wow. why? I, okay, the, the Windows 10 pushing for like setting up an online account. Whatever, okay, fine. You want people to have everything connected to the Microsoft so you can buy uh, OneDrive storage and all that. Like, okay, it's a bit of a hustle. I get it. It was just completely eliminate and, like, hide that. Like, yeah, I, dude, really? <laughs> because to, 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 to get to the even, to even get to the command prompt, didn't you have to go through the, um, the, the, the help, not, 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 the, not the help menu, but, like, the... The, the 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 help aid like for people who are vision impaired or deaf or or something right it's like the, the uh, i don't remember exactly i do remember i had to bring up like a command prompt mm. and type in this special command um just to to bring up the option i do remember that i had to go back onto a previous page it was like my goodness man I'm, oh I'm, goodness. I'm, I'm telling you, man, look, look, hold on, hold on. I'm going to tell Microsoft, you're going to keep messing around. You're going to keep messing around, Microsoft. We're going we're gonna, to we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna have a conversation. <laughs> we're going to get we're gonna, it. We're going we're gonna to have to have a talk. We're going to have to have a... Um... Oh, don't, 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 don't mind, don't, don't mind this, uh, Microsoft. We're going to have to have a conversation about the decisions being made in Apple II. Apple II. You want you want you want you want to have these these, these notches on your screen. Let's make sure we have right. uh, compatibility for, for 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 the context mix. I'm just I'm just you know I'm just uh. <laughs> Damascus no less. Oh, 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 oh. You see a bandana to pull up to the the fire link. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> I'm gonna get flagged by YouTube for being violent. <laughs> this content is not suitable for publishers, for advertisers. <sighs> by, I'm by, trying to find the exact steps I had to do. <laughs> by the way, for viewers, uh, ever... this is Zoro Sword uh, Shoe Sweep. So. Oh, nice. One, one piece. W were you able to find them? <sighs> I. <laughs> My brain's a little fried. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! Oh shoot! Okay, uh, we're dude. We've been recording for like almost three hours. <laughs> oh my god! It, look, we had, we've been away for for two two months. Two months. About yeah. Yeah. yeah so it, it just we're, we're we're just filling in on on on, on lost time. Oh, okay, I found him. I found him. Uh, you had to. Oh, when you get to the page that says, oops, you've lost internet connection. Let's connect it to your network. You had to do shift F10. That brings up command prompt. You had to type in uh, O-O-B-E. So that stands for out of box experience. So O-O-B-E backslash bypass and R-O. <laughs> and then this little thing comes up. And then you hit, yeah, let's... uh. Let's not do that. Continue with limited setup, and then you can finally create your account. <laughs> it's, they can't just have a button to like set up later. And here, 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 here's the thing, Microsoft. I think a developer just just decided to go with that and just didn't did a question it or just said, "All right, chief." <laughs> I don't. Your your average user is just gonna make a Microsoft account. Why are you trying to force power users into the same boat? Because I, I guarantee you, if 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 you if you remove this exploit, power users are just gonna stop using Windows. And I, I and I I think I've said this as well. You know, I I, I I love Steam, I love Valve. They're not perfect, and you know, by all means, I don't think there's some type of saving grace or some type of savior. The main reason why I have a Windows machine is for gaming. I now have a Steam Deck. The Steam Deck's <laughs> oh, uh, operating system is, can be applied to other other equipment and other hardware. I do not mind going full on Linux for my main machine, and then building a Steam box with the Steam Deck's uh, operating system if I have to. Microsoft, get your. <laughs>
<laughs> again. <laughs> please. <laughs> Just please. Please. Well, I've convinced my wife to, uh, to solve Ubuntu. We're gonna get her the Framework 16 when that comes out for pre-order. Nice. He's like, he's like, wait, what? <laughs> Microsoft wants how much for a Windows license? Just throw Ubuntu on it, loose. <laughs> like, all right. Well, like a hundred bucks or something. But she's like, yeah, yeah. I'd rather not. Cause I, I'm trying to remember because, like, technically, if if you don't buy a license, I think like Windows now they they just give you that weird or that annoying uh, wallpaper with the little information at the bottom. Oh, right really? There. Yeah, I, I think so. I do now. I, I, if yeah. I'm not mistaken, if I'm not mistaken, I could I could be, but I'm, if I'm not mistaken. I, I don't know, man. It's, it just—it doesn't make sense. Look, I, I get it. Everyone's vibing for everybody's attention, their data, their you know, their. What? It's not. It's not, it's not necessary. It's, it's just. Uh, and you got Chat GPT now. You don't. You know, just just d- d- let leave leave. <laughs> just leave this alone. Just, I I don't. I. Uh, I'm. Just, I'm gonna, they're gonna. They're gonna. They're gonna. They're, they're gonna push me to start smoking cigars. They're gonna. They're gonna bring Clippy back. AI powered Clippy. Hey yo, I think I, you know I, I'm actually for that. I love Clippy. He was, yeah. he was he was annoying as hell, but like he was very entertaining. A little tapping, through. clink 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 clink. <laughs> you use the wrong grammatical uh, tool here. Uh, you should probably use a comma here. Okay. Or the the Thanks. wizard, the dog. Um, I think there was, was a cat. The body, I think there's a gorilla too. Yeah, oh, the purple gorilla. The purple. The purple was it blue or I think it was purple. I think it was purple. Yeah. Except I don't think that was Microsoft. That was or yeah, what was that? Whose idea was was it to put Clippy? That's pretty funny. Uh, purple. Back when Microsoft had a little bit of character. Right. Again, when things were fun and interesting and weird and different. Office assistant is what they were called. Just gotta get a list list of them. Oh my god, no way. What? So, it, yeah, the, the the little ape was called Bonzi, Bonzi Buddy, right? Yeah. If you go to Bonzi.com, it redirects to Bonzi Buddy underscore official at OpenSea. They're selling Bonzi NFTs. <laughs> no, I'm like, come on, who bought this domain? Tell me this is a meme. Tell me they're actually selling NFTs. <laughs> oh my god. Wait, was 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 Bonzi created by Microsoft or was that like a third party? No, it was a third party thing. Wasn't it actually also malware? It was, it was freeware. I don't know if it was malware. I mean, I guess you could, you could argue the definition there that they're sometimes the same thing. <laughs> Hold on. I'm I'm having weird um uh, uh like I'm not sure if this is a memory or um like oh like a false memory type thing. Yeah. Oh, uh this is Bonzi Buddy Malware. Cuz I think like someone had found it it, 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 it it was some story about something that was they thought was was harmless but it turns out it actually was uh malware. Not it wasn't the most like destructive or invasive but it it was sending data secretly or something, or, or, or doing something. Uh, mm. uh, I do see that they say that Bunzi Buddy threat description on Microsoft at where uh, Microsoft Security threat. Uh, but I don't know if that was still it. Um, Bunzi Buddy Cyber Security Plan. That that's clearly not. Um, malware history. Bunzi uh, Bunzi Buddy Malware Database uh, Wikia. Probably not the most. Um, um, uh, uh, consumer reports labeled Bonsai Buddy as spyware under their web watch, stating it contained a backdoor trojan that collects information from users. Yeah. The activities the program is set to engage in include constantly resetting the user's web browser homepage. Oh, that's pretty easy. The Bonsai.com without the user's permission. I mean, honestly, I'd probably say a lot of software back in the day. Oh, yeah. that. All sorts of extensions. That was kind of hard for the course, unfortunately. You remember those, um, those mouse, uh, 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 mouse pump pointer changers? You could have, like, the animated things or, like, I remember that. the yeah. 30,000 toolbar add-ons for Ask Jeeves and all these other things. <laughs> I'm glad that, like, Chrome and Firefox stepped in and, like, 
made a better way to not do that where they just said like all right no more overriding toolbars all we're gonna have is just this one little icon developers <laughs> if you need to you can have a whole separate page for your settings but you're just getting this you're not getting a whole toolbar now thank you <sighs> Man, I... oh, okay trend micro and semantic labeled bonsai buddy as adware i think that's probably more accurate than spyware yeah, yeah. But yeah, man, it's, we again gr- grew up in a, a really weird and wild time, and it was it was something else. As a matter of fact, I, 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 I um, uh, it was either it was either Joe Rogan, Neil deGrasse Tyson, or uh, what's his name from the movie, uh, or not movie, the TV series with the vampires. Um, uh, uh, not blue, no, True Blood. I, I listen to a lot of range podcasts randomly throughout the days at work. Uh, but somebody was talking about how, like, they're glad that they grew up in a time where they were in the transition between, like, you know, not that technological into the technology thing for, like, uh, uh, the Internet and social stuff and yada, yada, yada. And how if you look now, you can see a lot of the younger people who are just from out of the womb into the Internet. Uh, and, like, they're weird. <laughs> and I don't mean just a, a, it's not, not just a generational shift. Genuinely weird. <laughs> So I don't know. I I am happy. I would say it's sometimes a bit a bit naive too. Sometimes yes, with the tech stuff. Yeah, I mean I guess like older people too. You see this a little bit too with those like credit card scams and whatnot. Yeah, they kind of grew without it. So I don't know how the next generation is gonna gonna deal with that. Oh, hopefully, hopefully that it'll likely they'll, they'll get hit and then learn learn to, to to adapt to not be fooled by it, or they'll just succumb to it and um, survival of the of, of the the, the internetiest. I, I don't I don't I don't yeah, know. I guess so. <laughs> so I do think that takes us to much of the oh no actually um going off of the the, the Apple Vision Pro stuff. Do do you think? Because, I, I mean, I think it's pretty clear that, that the, the Vision Pro is going to have some impact on the AR and VR industry. I'm not going to say uh, uh, spatial computing. Just go 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 kiss your own ass, uh, Apple. Um, it's going to have some impact on it. But, like, do, do you do you think... What, what do you think the impact is going to be? More negative, more positive, or just benign? Mm, that's a bit of a tougher question. Yeah. I do believe they'll have some sort of impact... I don't believe their particular product will really take off and sell. Like, I, I imagine they're going to, like, like maybe perhaps pieces of it, like the um, the, the part where uh, Marquez talks about, they, they call this, like, a progressive rendering thing where it tracks, like, your retinas, and it, like, saves uh, computing power, but not, of course, like, deeply rendering the rest of the year your field of view i think that's going to catch on mm. along with their the eye tracking i think that might start to become more popular in future vr headsets um the the addition of like these two 4k displays on your eye i don't think that's much of an innovation i, I think that's just more of a computing and space and battery type of engineering problem i don't think it's necessarily groundbreaking the, the but eye tracking, perhaps, um, that conditional rendering, perhaps as well. The gestures, I'm on the fence if that'll take off or not, mm. because Apple tends to be really good at just gestures on their their MacBooks and just on their iPhones as well. They have these certain gestures, and that really hasn't caught on. It's become a, just an Apple distinct thing. I don't know if necessarily the gestures will catch on. Yeah, it's that's tough for me to say there. I think they'll, they'll probably have a overall positive impact, but I don't think their particular product is going to do too well. I I, I agree. I um. So when it, when it comes to the tracking interaction thing with your with your fingertips, um, mm-hmm. if, if, if most people that I've I've seen talk about their experience using it at the Apple event said that they had some some misclicks, which is you know. It, you also to argue they hadn't adapted and got used to it just yet, and they say it, it is pretty, um, you know, well off, and that if you, once you get used to it, you should be fine. I still don't like the idea of 
it's just weird to me. But I ha- I haven't tried it either. Um, so I I I, I, I also I I. I I give them props to the the different way they handle the battery pack instead of having it attached to the actual um, headset itself. It's the cable that you can detach. You have to like do some weird push, twist, pop off, and it's a, it's a cable that goes into like it looks like a uh, a portable battery pack, a little small one. Yeah, and it has yeah. a USB slot to potentially add another battery pack to it, like a daisy chain, which I mean. I'd, I'd rather have just a bigger pack and not have like two battery packs in. Yes, no. I think you can also like plug it into to your computer, so it, it never just runs out. Oh, you know, uh, you know. okay. I can, okay, I can see but, that. But then you're, you're tethered, which again, it's not. So you, you can you can you know whatever. It's, I I don't mind that. It's, it's not a bad idea. Um, what I initially thought because I saw every headline and every tech tuber that's not. Uh, that that that. Let me not, because this is probably going to sound kind of um, petty, or, oh. or maybe accusatory would be a little bit better. Yeah. Every tech tuber who I think is 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 fighting. So essentially, if you're not MKBHD, if you're not LTT, if you're not a, the biggest tech tubers, and you need to bring views and, and and get eyes on you, titles such as. Did Apple just kill like Facebook Meta's MetaQuest or HTC Vive? And I was like, no, no. And I think I, I, Facebook did a good job of that already. <laughs> yes, but also just in general, like there will likely be some form of gaming with the Vision Pro, but it's not going to be like VR gaming. Reason why? Uh-huh. You can't game. What, 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 you, what, you know, right? That's not going to be fun, or, or you know, they, they might release. Some controllers later, as you know, some extra accessories down the road. They have to. But right now, it's, it's not going to be catered for gaming as as other headsets will be. So that that's already. Well, mm-hmm. Even then, who would who would help them develop those games? I imagine it would just be mobile games at the most. Yes. Now, do you think Microsoft's going to pour games over to Apple Silicon? Do you think they're going to put that much effort into this? What about like Sony? You think they're going to do that after that? Like, uh, was it? Do they have a lawsuit with uh? No. No, that's Epic Games. I think Epic Games had that lawsuit with uh with Apple. Yeah. 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 Sony I don't imagine will. Nintendo does their own thing. They're kind of like the Apple of the Nintendo world. Yeah. So just, they're not gonna partner with one of those giants. Yeah, so I I, I don't I don't it, they're they're literally kind of in, in two different areas. In, in matter of fact, I would argue that the biggest competitor uh, to, uh, that uh, Apple Vision Pro is going to be targeting is Microsoft's HoloLens, and I know a lot of people will say, "I thought HoloLens died." No, they're yeah. they're, they're just not consumer products. They're, they're you, you can find them in, oh. in warehouses and in, in uh, manufacturing firms. People use them, and they have like their manuals guiding them through as they put together manufacturing pieces and projects and stuff. So, and if you're Vision. Pro, I'm assuming they're, they're trying to play both fields, saying consumers can watch movies, and you, and if you're in a factory, you can make this geared towards you know stuff that you're working with and tracking and pulling up your messages while you're working on something, and then like a, a booklet here, or if you got to search something, you know, stuff like that. Right. Okay. Yeah, I see what you mean. Like it's HoloLens is dead from the consumer side, but in yes. the in the business world, it's still like healthy. Okay. Yes. I see what you mean. So. Yeah, that's they'd have to pick a, a lane. Honestly, I think with the Vision Pros, this whole catering to everybody. I mean, I guess if you want to showcase, like, look, we're. Yeah. Does Apple even do B two B? For me, Apple is usually more, more consumer facing. I mean, I know they make a killing selling like MacBooks to, <laughs> to tech companies, right? But, uh, and I think pushing a VR headset, asking your boss for a VR headset, yeah. <laughs> might yeah. be pushing the envelope a little too much. I'm having a meeting with my boss right now, Lewis, but hold on. I'm going to take a break and I'm going to look at my child and then I'm going to record a video of them playing with oh these nice God. bubbles. Oh my goodness, my boss is going to love this video. Uh, okay. Ooh. I, I think there's already like a growing amount of uh, employers <laughs> who don't know if they trust their employees, like if they're actually doing work at home. I don't know if strapping a monitor to your face is going to help. No, not at all, man. <laughs> Uh, I don't. Know. I, I. I am. I am excited for the technology. Tr- tr- truly, I am. It, I. I. 
the 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 visuals that they showcase actually seem really interesting and really cool. It's just again for the price, for what they're trying to market towards. It just doesn't make a lot of sense. So once they figure out what they where, where they're gonna put this, cool. Until then, this is nothing but vaporware to me. <laughs> Give at least the pat the marketing team on the back for trying to make this more marketable. <laughs> like here you go, man. <laughs> like what's this for? I don't know, man. Just figure a way to sell it. <laughs> Again, if 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 I could, if if, I, if if we had a studio, like like an actual thing we could do, family, I would have so many skits. Like just, hey, man, and happy birthday. Like as the camera pans out, one of guys like wearing the headset. It's like, oh, you're drink, drinking a beer. Yeah, man, you know, happy birthday. It's like, James, what the hell is wrong with you? What? <laughs> Take the headset off. No, I I can see you just fine. It's like as, as like you see like the the the, the eyeball in, on on the screen. <laughs> it's like lazy eye. Yeah. <laughs> just messing up. Like, hold on, let, let let me activate the Nvidia RTX uh, uh, eye oh eye, eye, eye retention process. <laughs> my God. Oh, what did you think about that? Like. Uh, that AI um, person virtual meeting thing where like you're doing a video call oh, and no. like it's just I don't like it I, just, I don't like it I, I don't like, oh no like why, why can't it just be like one of those end emojis yes right? yes and no. like it just kind of like intends to track like what you're saying instead of doing this whole AR AI type thing the, so I think that would have been more fun when they were doing the presentation and they and they went, well, what are the other persons gonna see when having a conversation? I was like, okay, this is the perfect place to bring in the the, the and then yeah, they, yeah. when they saw them pulling it off, turning it. I was like, no, no, scan your face. I was like, oh god, no, 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 no. Yeah, now they got your facial data too. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, they got your fingerprints. And those are unique. Now they got your face too, and I don't know. It's it's for me. It just personally would have been more fun. It feels like the animoji thing, and they would have. I don't know. It's 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 a little too disconnected for me. A little too unpersonal. And, and I think Mark has made a similar comment, and, it, and I agree with him. It's it's becoming a little too unpersonable. Like uh, technology was supposed to bring us together, and now it's <laughs> pushing us farther away. With like you know talking to your children, taking a video, and not even. <laughs> Everything's generated and fake. It's oh, like I think we're kind of losing sight of what technology is supposed to help us do. Yes. Um. Oh, me. Uh. Me and a couple of guys at work. Uh. We're making jokes. I. Um. I think it's called Surrogate. It, it, it's a movie that has Bruce Willis in it, and like the whole premise <laughs> is society is you know is cut got to a, a technological point where people get in these pods, put on a helmet. And then they transfer their consciousness into an artificial body that looks just like them. But because okay. they're artificial, they feel no pain. So they can just like go get hit by a car and, they, and the, the real body stays safe. But okay. uh, Bruce Willis goes like, I don't want to live like that. So he's like the only per the only human that's going around the world with his actual real body. It's also similar to uh, one of the old, old, old sci-fi movies that has, uh, I think, uh, uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger in it. Uh, but it's, it's, it's a real interesting thing, but it's like, okay, these used to be just fictional things, and now it feels like it's actually a possibility. And that's... I want, it, it doesn't frighten me. It doesn't, it's not... It, it, it saddens me. It, it's yeah. For, for the same reason you just spoke about with the disconnection. That's the right word. Yeah. Ah. People uh, complain about NFTs being fake is not the real thing, and then <laughs> Apple releases the Apple Vision Pro. I'm like, bro, like, <laughs> we're just saying people just rag on NFTs. <laughs> <laughs> like a year ago. Oh man, but okay, I, I think we we have if 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 there's any listeners who have sat through the entirety of like this three hour thirty minute thing, uh, please let me know in the comment section down below, and uh, I'm, I might. Uh, matter of fact, if I, hmm, I'll, I'll in post, I'll add a question in the very beginning where it's like, in the case that we do have a session that is over an hour and a half long, which we want it to be cut up into two parts, 
and I can release the first half in one week and the second half next week, or do you want just the full unsolicited, uncut three and a half? Because I I listen to a three hour podcast personally. I do it all the time because <laughs> it helps you get, it get through work. I listen to two, two and a half, yeah, three, yeah. Oh, especially road trips. Oh yes, yes, yes. yes. <laughs> yeah, road trips is where they, where they I, hit. I feel bad because like I've, I've I've caught up to like ninety um, percent of all of my podcasts and like I, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and, and, and anyways though, so before we actually close out the the, the episode, the, there is one close well, before before I I, I I go off on this little. Um, uh, soapbox, Louis. Are there, is there any closing remarks you would like to to, to bring up or say? Uh, stay safe, kids. Don't get lost in the metaverse. <laughs> Can't wait for Zuck versus uh, Musk. <laughs> With oh a- my god! <laughs> the next, uh, if something happens there, we might talk about that next show. Absolutely. <laughs> if something ever develops. Okay. So, um, this is going to be uh, a call back to what we used to do every Sunday on the channel a couple of years back. It's a, what I call Zenful Thoughts, right? It's basically me just kind of mind dumping um, some intro, in, in, introspective feelings, emotions, thoughts, and just vibes, right? Um, so... There's been a lot of crazy things in the, in the world lately. Uh, personal life stuff. You got the Ocean Gate uh, debacle and tragedy, and I, I'm pretty sure some people have heard about the child who had who was on a, a, a cruise ship trip after his graduation, jumped off at night into the water due to a dare, um, and was not seen again. And the running theory is likely he was um, uh, eaten by uh, sharks because the area they were in was sharks infested water. So I have a plea to rationality and just responsibility for pretty much everybody. You know, we're all human. We're not perfect, and no one, no one rational would expect you to be perfect. But there are levels to one's own choices. Now, for the youth, you're young and dumb. I, I don't care how smart you actually are. You you lack experience. I understand what that might feel like being told that we've all. We've all been there as well, and it's like, you know, you're talking about experiences and everything. It's, it's not everything, but it's, 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 a, it's a very big thing, right? I would love if people could just take a few moments in time when faced with certain choices to just think on it a little bit longer. Just, just think on it just a, a touch longer. Because I think we're in an era where due to information in the palms of our hands, and, and now that anyone can put information out there, there's a bunch of misinformation, real information, unverified information, uh, factual information that might be misused and construed in a way that becomes unfactual. And all of this all at once kind of makes people feel entitled as well as not accountable for choices that they make because, well, I saw it online. Or, well, someone told me to do it. Well, uh, I, at the time, only thought these were my only two options. Your situations are your situations, and there's some things that you cannot control. However, the choices you make are still your choices. And when you make a choice, especially if you're getting ready to cross that threshold from being a child as an, into an adult, your choices are going to leave impacts. And no matter what form or, or, or idea you might have that led to the choice that you made, you are going to be responsible for your choices. In the case of the child that jumped off the cruise ship and potentially lost his life, that was a choice that he made because of the dare of his friends. Now, people can, can put a lot of blame on people who, who made the dare. Sure, they're, 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 they're culpable. But in the day, it was the person who was in control of their own body that decided to jump over those rails. And even though I am all fine with calling them a child, because that's essentially what they were, legally, they were an adult. And no matter how you slice it, they're old enough to know better. And if you would have just taken two minutes to think about it just a little bit longer, probably wouldn't have jumped off. And for those who may say that I'm victim blaming, apologies, probably am. But I'm, I'm, I'm not going to sugarcoat it any, any more than this because at the end of the day, 
sometimes people need to be told bluntly what life is. Life is what you make of it based on the choices that you decide to make. And so if you're going to be making choices as you cross that threshold into adulthood, be sure that you are prepared for the responsibilities and the, and the reactions of your choices of how you act. Life is an interconnected experience between yourself and the people around you and who you interact with. Your decisions in some form or fashion will cause impact to other people's lives. I cannot fathom the feeling of the parents of that child. And that is a very sad reality that they're going to have to wake up to every single day. And it is heartbreaking. And if somebody like me can sit in front of a camera and tell this as a very blunt and direct message of five extra seconds to two minutes of thinking can cause a massive difference in the decision that you make to prevent a tragedy, then, hey, I will take the hate of the Internet for victim blaming any day. If it will save a life, if it will wake you up, if it will make you understand that you are in control of your own life, your own actions and your own decisions, then I'm all for it. So this is my plea to rationality and responsibility and accountability. Please think about your actions. And I wish you the best of luck in this world. I am sad and sorry to leave the episode on a very sad, sour note after three and a half hours of, of just ribbing and rabbing after being away from the camera for a few months. But I am sorry, I have just been through so much in the last two months that I cannot just let this thought and vibe linger and go unspoken. So I'm not looking for agreement. I'm not looking for disagreements. I'm literally just spilling my thoughts and hoping that it reaches somebody and helps them in some form or fashion. I've been Zane Zonkami Blaylock with my co-host, Louis, that Mexican with the K, Sandoval. We will see you in the next episode, season four, episode five, hopefully with a much, much happier ending to the episode. We'll see you then. Good night. Essence of Zen After Dark is recorded by and for geeks and nerds alike. The intro and outro songs were provided by Pro Leader, who you can find at proleader.bandcamp.com. That is P R O L E T E R.bandcamp.com. If you have suggestions for topics you want to see on the show, then feel free to drop by discord.chat slash essence of Zen and join the community and give us said suggestions. Thank you.